The movie is Bahubali from 2015 out of India. This is the Latino slant. My name is Polly. I think I just saw the greatest action adventure battle since Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Let's do this. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Slant? Yeah, but isn't this the unplugged version? I don't know. I think, I think it's the unplugged version. All right, Polly, let's go. Polly here on the Latino Slant. Thank you for joining me on this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you are subscribed. Have your alerts on. Let's go right now to non-spoilers, my friends. And all my friends that have been uh, just been so great with the comments on these other films that I have reviewed. Let's go back, right? Triple R, SS Raja Muli. He's got other movies. I didn't know this. I was told this. Not only was I told this, people want to see my review, what I thought. And we're going with one, part one. It's called, it's called, let me get this right. I don't want to mess it up. Bahubali, the beginning. Okay. Bahubali, the beginning. It is on Netflix here in the States. Part two is also on Netflix. I have not seen part two yet because I wanted to do an immediate review reaction to this epic action drama. Now, we're going to go with no spoilers for about another minute. I do want to tell you that SS Rajamuli also has Triple R. It's still in some theaters in the U.S. I'm sure it'll be streaming very soon. You can catch my review of that as well. And what was the other movie that I... It's on Amazon Prime. What is it? KFG? Part one. And part two is in the theaters as well. So Indian cinema... cinema Indian, Indian cinema is really, for me, a breath of fresh air in seeing movies because... And I want to thank Chris Gore for kicking me in the butt kicking me in the butt to to watch triple r which has now opened this whole thing up to meet all you new people all across uh, the world uh, international and to check out great new films i would never have seen because let me tell you what i'm getting is the 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 boldness in the storytelling is something we haven't had in american cinema since the 80s and that's really it. And they take it to another level in their creativity. Now, let's go to... Polly, what are you talking about? You're being crazy. I'm not, guys. I'm not. Let's just talk about the cast really fast of Bahubali, the beginning 2015 action war film. It is two hours and 39 minutes. I did take breaks. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It stars as uh shividu uh and excuse me if i'm getting any of these names wrong pardon me now prab has who is our leading man and this man is a specimen he is a big buff dude who's just got a lot of great he's got those leading man looks and again like with uh all these other uh actors i'm seeing uh incredible sensitivity and vulnerability but just not af not afraid to to be a man and we love that also to anushka shetty rana dagubati ramna krishhan who i really loved as the queen she's incredible everyone is incredible and there's another actor in here i didn't get his name but he plays pata pataya and that is an incredible character as well Here's the, uh, the line, in the kingdom of Mahiz Mati, while pursuing his love, Shivudu learns about the conflict-ridden past of his family and his legacy. He must now prepare himself to face his newfound arch enemy. And again, this is directed by S.S. Rajamuli. It is written by his father. And I love the stories that I'm reading about him and his father creating 
new material for us to enjoy. So let's go to some of these photos. So you can, let me give you an idea of just what a specimen uh, this actor is, Prabhas, feeling nostalgic after five years. Yeah, it's been five years. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. So, like I told you guys, I haven't seen the the um, part two. Just seen part one, and here's here's this is this poster is taken from where he's shows off his first superhuman strength, <laughs> and he moves a uh, a wishing well for his mom. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. All right. So I we might as well whoa, my bad. My bad. We might as well people start getting into spoilers and I don't want to make this a long review. I I don't. I don't because I want you to enjoy this. I don't I what I didn't do is I did not after the movie grab tons of research on this. Who's who? What's what? The imagery, the gods, I'm very ignorant to that. I wanted to, to just enjoy it as an American moviegoer. And then I'll tunnel back, right? Then I'll tunnel, tunnel back. I did, I did learn that. I did discover that the story is the ancient times. So when I said at the beginning my line about Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, the, the, the battles, they got that. And more in this and just we'll get to that in a minute so this is spoilers okay all right so i'm gonna break down the story as plain i'm gonna be be very plain as simple as possible okay this character <clears throat> is the descendant of a prince god who <clears throat> became was who was meant to be king and uh, there's a whole backstory that's played out in the second half of this movie the first half of this movie we see him as a child being saved by his his mother from he's, he's being hunted and then this adopted family raising him and he's mischievous and he wants to keep climbing the waterfall from where he came from because he knows where he he really kind of belongs in, the, in a different place as he's as 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 he as he's a young man now, we see superhuman strength, and he c discovers this rebel woman. This woman was part of this rebellion. Now, they're rebelling and trying to save this woman who's been imprisoned up in the kingdom, high atop the waterfall on in in that land. And we know that that woman is is connected to to. To our twenty to to our hero. Now I, I have to say, the first part for me, that first hour was it was sweet, it was nice. You know, they they had a couple songs. It was a love story between these two people, and they're laying out kind of who's who, including the current regime of the kingdom that he's supposed to be, you know, be the rightful, you know, you know, king. And of course they're not good dudes. And unlike Triple R or or uh was it KFG, um this is all set in ancient times. So this is like you know Indian on Indian crime. You know what I'm saying? It's a brown on brown <laughs> you know, family within family. So he makes a promises. He makes a promise to his lover that he's going to, he's going to free this lady who's imprisoned at the kingdom. Now, when he makes his presence known and he shows off some of his superhuman strength by saving some slaves, the slaves and other people start chanting Bahu Bali, Bahu Bali. And the, the, the current king, and then they go nuts. They lose, oh, what's, who's doing what? And they're just not good people. 
the the leading slave dude who's like this old guy but can still fight is Kataya. And if I'm saying saying that name wrong, I apologize. I love this character. I love this character. He knows who this man really is. Okay. Now we kind of get to a point where um Shividu, let me get his name wrong, right? Because I feel like I'm really butchering his name and i'm really sorry guys no need to get crazy here <laughs> i just want to make sure i get this character's name right she voodoo thank you she voodoo kind of helps okay this is this is great right they're escaping with 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 the uh, with the lady, but the but the one of the princes of the kingdom and his men are hot on their trail. Basically, they they capture them again, but there is a fight, and I don't want to tell you what happens in this fight, but it's it is jaw dropping. Basically, Shivudu comes into realization of who he might be he might be the one yeah it's like a neo moment from the matrix he might be the one to where there are people on the hills bowing to him and he's like what is going on so kataya who's there who was actually fighting him bows to him as well and he realizes that you are that he is babu uh bahubali the incarnation like the next one and so kataya tells him his backstory so the next hour we go back in time 50 years back and let me tell you those 50 that when they go back in time they just kill it the story just is is amazing it is so epic it is so breathtaking what they show is two cousins would be kings and it's decreed that whoever grows up the most uh, honorable the most with valor and can you know really show those qualities of a king will be named king these two these two guys grow up together they're showing off all their skills and all that good stuff now it's decided that they will that the king will be crowned on who kills the enemy because the enemy is at the door and let, let's get to some pictures because and, and, and listen i i skipped a lot I, I i i got through the first hour the the last the hour and a half for me it's a huge payoff in a just a killer cliffhanger it's just not even fair the ending the ending's not even fair because but I see, I see what you're doing, SS. I see what you're doing. Because you grab us. You tell us that, like the first half, nice and sweet, butterflies, tattoo lovers, you know, singing. And it's also very suggestive, which I, which I really appreciated. It was, you know, a little suggestive. <laughs> you know, they ain't, they ain't afraid to... to, to uh... Okay. You're, you're, yeah. You, so, so here you're seeing the two, the two. I'm trying to go. Let me see if I can get a picture here. So this is cool. This is kind of cool. This is Bahubali. Kind of, you know, they're 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 doing a a, a sacrifice. And again, it kind he kind of just going to his character. He, it shows his character that he doesn't, he doesn't sacrifice the fatted cow, right? He had, he in fact cuts his own hand and he throws it at, at, uh, at the God, at God, and uh, Shiva. If I get it wrong, I'm so sorry. He says, I, I want to, I'd rather you have some of my blood than this innocent, innocent animal. So I was like, whoa. So these these little things that show what a great guy this is. 
Okay, the battle. Let me just talk about this battle. Now, to me, the battle in Return of the King is probably the greatest battle I've seen. This is a close second. This has every everything that Return of the King has as far as, oh, that's part two. Don't be showing no part two. Yeah, there we go. Begin. That's that's great. That's a great shot. So this has this this epic battle has everything that Return of the King's battle has, but with a little more strategy, which I really really appreciated. And they don't have the benefit of that kill of of that killer budget. Not to say that the CGI was horrible. But there was more practical battles within. And the the stuff that these two cousins do, as far as them smoking fools, them killing people, is just insane. And that the, the, the evil bad dude is, those guys are nasty. Those guys are nasty. Oh, man. So that was a, a real, real it caught me off guard just how I, there was a lot of jaw dropping moments in that battle for me some great payoffs some heart a lot of heart actually and also too just the the what they're fighting for is pretty deep they're fighting for their queen they're fighting for their mothers they're fighting for their homeland they're fighting, you know, their people, which, which our hero and his descendant really shows us, shows us his logic, shows us that he's not full of deceit. So I really loved it. I really, really was impressed with that ending. Now, that's all I'm going to tell you guys. That's all I'm going to tell you guys, because it is so readily available on Netflix. So you can see it. I'm going to see part two, you best believe. Then I'll have, I'll put some more notes together because this is more of a reaction. I really don't want to spoil it. I will say this. Not only is the cliffhanger ending jaw dropping, but there is a mid credits scene as well. And that I did not expect. So really, again, these guys are taking SS Rajamuli and his dad. They've seen the Hollywood playbook and they are bouncing off of it and having a blast and all showing us Indian lore, ancient lore. I mean, I, I love this. Right now, I'm currently reading up about uh, Mayan and Inca and Aztec lore, also too with the Northman on Norse and English lore with Hamlet. And I just see there's just so many universal themes here. And the biggest one is loyalty. Then there's betrayal of bloodlines and, and it's just so heartbreaking and so again this was really entertaining i i i, re, I liked the first hour I, I i saw why you know they they were they were kind of you know building it, it almost becomes a different it really becomes a different movie in the second half and i'm wondering how how the second movie now is going to be because i thought the second half of this movie was so kick-ass and so emotionally some huge payoffs. I can't wait. All right. Well, that is my spoiler, non-spoiler review of the 2015 Bahu Bali by SS Raju Raju Mali. And again, I want to tell SS, I want to tell his people do not come to Hollywood. Do not do films for Hollywood. Stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. 
keep doing these amazing films. We here in the States and in Latin America love them. Comment, like, let me know what you think of, of my review. Have you seen the film? I want to know. I want to know. And I want to know what else I should see. And let me know, too, if uh, if there are Latino, Latin American films that I can recommend. I've been doing that. I have a playlist. Check it all out. Much love to everybody. And if you're new to the channel, you know that I always say this. Wherever you're at, keep your slant fuerte. And fuerte means strong. Slant means your opinion, your perspective of where you're coming at. So keep your slant fuerte. We'll see you soon. Paz. Peace. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. It's Lion. Yeah, but isn't this the unplugged version? I don't know. I think, I think it's the unplugged version. Uh, power, let's go.